Hi, I'm Hitemi Woods. I'll read an episode from my book, An Old Tree in Kyoto. Today's episode is called Birthday. It's about my late grandfather. Birthday. It was my grandfather's birthday on Sunday. He would be 100 years old if he was still alive. His motto was to live until 100 years old. The reason was simple a TV show. There was a show in Japan that introduced people who were 100 years old along with their family in their daily life. My grandfather's dream was to appear and be introduced in the show. He always had to be the center of attention. Every time his name happened to be mentioned in a local paper or a community bulletin, he would underline his name, clip the article, and show it to everyone. To me, it looked so stupid. Because he kept pointing at the underlined name, although I knew his name duly. He craved to be famous. So, to be 100 years old was the chance of a lifetime for him to be on TV. He instructed us to be prepared for the filming. For instance, he told me to return home on the day of filming. And answer questions about him from a reporter in front of the camera. His dream didn't come true, and I was the only one who celebrated his 100th birthday. I lived with my grandparents until I left home. My grandparents raised me in place of my parents who were busy and out for work all day long. As a, as a Japanese old custom,、uh, a firstborn in the house, in the family, stayed. In their house with their parents and lived together. After he or she got married. So my parents also lived with their parents,、uh, my father's parents, according to the old custom. So, my family was quite big when I was a child because I lived with my grandparents and my parents and my sister and even with my uncle until I was probably seven or eight years old. Although most of time I spent with my grandparents in my house when I was a child, I didn't like them. They, they took responsibility. To raise me and my sister in place of my parents and did their best, I guess, but they were too strict, so I didn't, I couldn't get along with them so well. They were too strict for me. 
so I as far as I could remember I had no memory to talk with them friendly I we we had never been amicable friendly and I was always tense beside them on top of that being so strict my grandfather was So stingy, and uh, he's a uh, he ruled the entire family as a dictator. So everyone listened to him and did exactly what he, my grandfather told us to do. We could not oppose him. Anything. We were like their servants, so to speak. I had to, not all the family members had to ask for his permission even when we turn on the TV. So it was not a happy days living with my grandparents. And my grandfather was so arrogant and self-centered and he didn't listen to anyone he just went straight in his own way always he is he was the law in my family And he, he didn't, he, he didn't want to die. He, he, I, I suppose he wanted to live forever. And along the way, there was a, a, a milestone for him which was the, one, uh, the 100 years old mark. And it, it was getting closer and closer. And he was so excited to be 100 years old because it was the chance for him to get attention from everybody. my neighbors they thought uh, my grandfather thought they all would celebrate it would be happy to see him to reach 100 years old which in truth nobody actually wanted it <laughs> so he was the only one who was waiting for that day for that particular birthday and as it got closer they my grand 
grandfather instructed us the procedure more and more and uh, he specifically instructed us the procedure and the way of filming although he didn't know about anything about TV filming but he was completely keyed up with that day unfortunately he passed away when he was 96 years old uh, four years short for his big day and he ended up not sh not showing up on TV as he had dreamed of but I think I, I think I somehow understood what he felt maybe because I am self-centered myself maybe now I grew up and got got old I can share or understand what he felt then much more than I used to Not that I want to live until 100 years old because I don't want to worry about money for such a long time. It's, it's too long. But I guess celebrated his birthday in my mind on his 100th birthday by myself quietly not on TV just in my mind I hope my grandfather was also happy up there Thanks for listening. I'm Hitemi Woods. Until next time, take care and be well. Audiobook, The Family in Kyoto. One Japanese Girl Got Freedom by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple Books, Google Play, Audible, 43 available distributors in total. Audiobook. Living in Kyoto by Hitomi Woods. Now on sale in online stores. 44 available distributors. Apple, Google Play, Amazon Audible, or else. ひでみうつがデザインしたとってもかわいいオリジナルグッズが手に入るトートバッグ缶バッチステッカー、Tシャツ、トレーナー、パーカー、文具、その他いろいろエリゼンドットコムで見てみてねEREN.EN.COMEER
英語聞き流しリスニング、英語テキストと MP3 ダウンロード、その他の物語はホームページからお聞きいただけます。88thpp.com 88thpp.com